back. Thank, thanks. Uh, Mr. Perry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Administrator Bolter, last July raised the issue surrounding Santa Clara County's ban on 100 low lead. Unfortunately, the concerns I raised went unheeded. I've got an affidavit from Reed Hillville Airport business owner and the lack of 100 low lead, which has contributed to at least one misfueling incident that I'm aware of and to one accident resulting from the aircraft running out of fuel. Can I ask unanimous consent to have the affidavit entered into the record? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Administrator Bolter, what, do you, can you tell us what, what's precipitating the ban and the, and the drive to get rid of 100 low lead, knowing that one third of the gasoline fleet is powered by that fuel? What, what, what drives this decision? Obviously, the the, the uh, harm harm lead and lead emissions from those from those aircraft. So, so I would agree with you. That's what's driving it. And would you do you have knowledge of the fact that the county study regarding Santa Clara County and Reed Hillville in particular found that the limits were with or the lead found was within the limits, but that that information was suppressed. Uh, by by the government there. Are you aware of that? I, I am not. That that's outside my area. Well, I, I want to make you aware of it. I've got a couple articles here that that uh, that outline that. I'd like to ask you, man, as consent to have them entered into the record. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Administrator Bolter, it seems to me, knowing that this airport was built in 1937 that most of the residents around it that now seek to have it closed are using this opportunity, so to speak, so contrived to close what, what they don't like. I'm wondering what the FAA is doing, and I understand that you've got now um, G100UL, which will replace 100 low lead, so I get that. What is the cost of 100 low lead on the average, and what is the cost per gallon of the new replacement fuel? Sir, I'm not aware of those numbers. Shouldn't you be aware of that? One third of all gasoline engines use 100 low lead. Wouldn't that be something you would know? Uh, sir, you know, I'm an aviation safety organization. We, we are- our, yeah, But this our, is about safety, right? We already had one plane that crashed because they didn't, didn't get fuel. The airport banned the fuel, even though it wasn't allowed to. The, what's the FAA done about the ban? The, the FAA is con considering, con Continuing to work towards that, so that our airport, our airports division, which which is outside my purview, is working uh, that issue uh, uh, aggressively. They're working it aggressively. So, are other airports going to be allowed to ban it? Sir, I, I would not know that. Well, who would know it? Uh, our, I could certainly set you up with our airports division. It seems to me, sir, that if we're going to have a replacement fuel. And apparently we do, which is, which is great. You have to make sure that it is widely available and that it is affordable. And if that's not the case, that we cannot allow airports to unilaterally ban it and have the FAA continue to sanction that type of operation. I'm sure that you are, or I hope, maybe you're not familiar with the Grant Assurance or Grant Assurance 22. Are you familiar with that? Uh, somewhat familiar, sir. It's uh, Grant Assurance is, uh, oper uh, is run by the uh, Division of Airports and the agency. So, so it says that if you're going to if you're going to have a public airport, you've got to provide the fuel and other services, right? That's essentially what it says. Yet the FAA is allowing airports to ban the fuel for political reasons. Let's just face it; that's what it is. It's political reasons. It has nothing to do with science. The, the articles clearly show it has nothing to do with science. And what's the FAA doing about it? What's, what are they going to do about it? Sir, I, I do know that our airports division is working that very specific issue. Well, they don't seem to be very effective. I'll go back to the gentleman from Louisiana, Mr. Graves and Agility. They're working the issue. Here's what we know. We have a fuel that has worked for a very, very long time that is readily available and affordable. And we're allowing airports to ban it. And now there are crashes and misfueling incidents that are occurring. And the FAA is working on it very diligently. You know what I know? When you're up in the sky and it gets quiet unexpectedly, 
you're not concerned about the FAA working on it very aggressively and diligently. You've got a hit situation on your hands, sir. You're failing. I yield. 